morning, Pace Pirates, and welcome to PNN. Today, we are live on location from Assembly Hall, the site for tonight's bingo night. I'm Ryan Sloboda, and this is Sophia Ahmed, and we're really excited to be here. I can see basketball players coming in with tables and drinks and... Wait, I just saw my favorite boxes of candy, M&Ms, coming in for tonight's event. We are also going to be joined by Mr. Coach Starcher later on in this show. We have a lot to get to today in the show, so further ado, all students, please stand and join us in the Pledge of Allegiance and the Pace Pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. We at Pace pledge to treat everyone with fairness, kindness, and respect. Looks like another big college football weekend. Let's send it over to Jake and Kyle with the breakdown of this weekend's games. Good morning, Pace Pirates. Welcome back to week five of Pace College Game Day. I'm Kyle Dixon. And I'm Jake Allison. All right, let's get into it. Let's kick off the weekend with the first game, Mississippi State at LSU. Both teams had a rough past few weeks. The way for Mississippi State to get a big victory is for three rushing attack to dominate. LSU has one of the top 10 defenses in college football, and they must force turnovers for LSU to win. LSU quarterback Joe Burrow and Mississippi State quarterback Nick Fitzgerald will both be tested. Game two, it's the Oregon Ducks versus Washington State Cougars. These two teams will be co competing against each other for the 98th time. Oregon has been doing a spectacular job this season. Their quarterback, Justin Herbert, has completed 1,411 yards along with 65% of his passes. Washington State passing game has produced 2,224 passing yards from quarterback Gardner Minshew while completing 86% of his passes. This should be an exciting offensive game. Game 3 is Michigan Wolverines versus Michigan State Spartans. Michigan has a playmaker running back Karan Higdon and quarterback Shia Patterson. The Spartans' X Factor is running back Connor Hayward has been effective for Michi Michigan State's running game performances. Now let's bring in our guest picker, Mr. Klein. Welcome to Pace College Game Day, Mr. Klein. Happy you're on board. I'm happy to be here. Thanks for having me. Game one. LSU and Mississippi State. I like the Tigers in close. Ooh, I'm going for the Tigers too, buddy. Uh, LSU, they got a, their defense has to step up, but uh, I'm going to have to go with LSU as well. Game two, Washington State, Oregon. Oregon. Oregon? Oh, you're both going for the Oregon, huh? After that big win they got last Saturday, yeah, I guess I'm going to have to go with Oregon as well. Game three, Michigan, Michigan State. I got the Wolverines. Oh, no, no question. No question. How can you do this? Well, uh, you know what? That sounds like a really good name. They sound like a really good team. I'm going for Wolverines as well. Yeah, you got to. You got to. We're all on board with everything. Let's do this, guys. All right, that's it for this week, Pace. Catch you next time. See ya. The player to watch this week is Michigan quarterback Jay Patterson who in 2016 was the fourth overall rated recruit and transferred to Michigan after a couple years at Ole Miss and will need to be a big part of Michigan's offense for them to be in the playoff race as Michigan is currently ranked number six. College football starts Saturday when Michigan State plays against Michigan at 12 p.m. NC State against Clemson at 3.30 p.m. Florida State against Wake Forest at 3.30 p.m. and ECU against UCF at 7 p.m. The player to watch this week is Miami Dolphins quarterback Brock Osweiler, who in 2012 was drafted in the second round with his 57th overall pick, has been on four teams in his career, including two stints with Denver, and last week in the Dolphins' 31-28 upset over the Bears, had a career game with 380 yards and three passing touchdowns. The Miami Dolphins against the Detroit Lions at 1 p.m. 
the Jacksonville Jaguars against the Houston Texans at 1 p.m. The Cincinnati Bengals against the Kansas City Chiefs at 8.20 p.m. And on Monday, the Atlanta Falcons play against the New York Giants at 8.15 p.m. Welcome back to PNN, and we are joined by head coach, Mr. Starcher. Coach, thank you for being here today. Thanks for having me, Ryan. So, I heard that tonight we have the second annual bingo night. Can you tell us a little bit about it? It'd be my pleasure. All the money raised tonight goes directly back to the basketball program. So it helps pay for the gym, the referees, all of our expenses throughout the rest of the year. And let's be honest, who doesn't love bingo? Everybody loves bingo. Yeah, exactly. Um, can you also give us an insight on what the prizes are going to be? Because I'm really eager to know. I think a lot of the students want to know what the prizes are. Number one, everybody who shows up tonight gets free dress on Monday student-wise. So that's already a given. But some of the things you guys haven't highlighted on PNN, we've got a $50 gift card to Target tonight. That's right. We've got giant Halloween baskets. And listen, I don't want to give all the way all the surprises. So you're going to have to come out tonight to find out what else we got. Oh, yeah. That's amazing. And I'm really looking forward to bingo tonight. Me too. Well, thank you so much for your time, Coach. Appreciate it. Now let's send it off to the White Dove Award winners, followed by the quote of the day and birthdays. take up too much of today, John Wooden. Tonight for bingo. I'm Sophia Ahmed. And I'm Ryan Sloboda. Now I'm off to go get my M&Ms. Goodbye, All right, Pace Pirates. Okay, yeah. guys. Remember, bingo night is tomorrow at the assembly hall from 7 to 9 p.m. Do you know another game I like to play? Family, family feud. feud! The music in Family Feud is very catchy. That's very true. And speaking of music, here is latest tunes. Now I know the latest music of today. Let's see what I know. Here's more you know. And beneath the code. Now here's White Dove Award winners and quote of the day. Have a thrilling Thursday. Bye. That was good. Um, you kind of just said it like, 
you did your ending part a little early as soon as she stopped saying the white double war buttons on the quote of the day. You start the first part like again, all the way to the top. Honestly, you're going free. So let's just can we just like do the um ending part again because like it'll probably get I feel like because it's like your thrilling Thursday a little bit more exciting. Yeah, thrilling Thursday. So not here. This part is good. It's just so just that it's basically this part. Two point oh. Alright. So yeah, it should. I'm not even gonna move it. All right. All right. Quiet on side, guys. Can you sit down, please? Oh, yeah, you're... Because I have a feeling you're going to yeah, make some noise. I'm not doing anything. What am I doing? I know, but you're just... It just okay. sounds like... You, wait, how do you start? All right, 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 right. All right, guys. Quiet on side. Go sit down. I got to go. I got to go. go. Wait, now, how do you... Go. It's already what recording. What? Oh, oh, recording? Yeah, it's already recording. All right, we have to go, though. We have, like, two minutes. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Just start. Have a thrilling Thursday. Bye.